I'm Mrs. Q, and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to thank all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel. That means you like my videos. And if you like my videos and haven't subscribed yet, hey, what you waiting on? Click the subscribe button and you're in there to get more of me, Mrs. Q, and my, um, my silent co-host CJ, who, I don't know where he went. Anyway, <laughs> it's time for Ask Mrs. Q. That's me. And, um, like I said in previous videos, I got quite a few Ask Mrs. Q's questions. So, um, yeah, so let me go ahead and finish answering the last of the questions. Um, <laughs> what is it? Come on. Come on. <laughs> CJ had to go get his toy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, what? No, we, we, we got to work. We got to do our video first and then mommy will play. Okay. Okay. So you want to sit right there? You want to sit over here? Well, okay. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So there's CJ, everybody <laughs> for the CJ fans. All right. So, um, first ask Mrs. Q question is Mrs. Q I see that you get a lot of stuff, Dunian Burke and Brahmin from NavyExchange.com and sometimes the AFEEZEXCHANGE.com. And I would like to know who all can shop on NavyExchange.com and what was the last thing you got from NavyExchange.com? All right. I'm glad you asked that question. So... This is for my Brahmanistas. Okay, so this is my latest purchase from MyNavyExchange.com. Now, who all can shop on MyNavyExchange.com? Only people who hold a military ID and have exchange privileges can shop on MyNavyExchange.com, um, MyExchange.com, which is AFES. And, um, yeah, you can't be, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a veteran because you have to have exchange privileges. You can't just say if they have a military ID card because some people have a military ID card for medical purposes, meaning that they have um, medical benefits under the military health care system. So, you have to have exchange privileges, okay? How do you know you have exchange privileges? You look on the front of your military ID card, bottom right-hand corner. It'll tell you what privileges you have, and if you don't see anything there, that means all you have is medical, okay? All right, so let me show y'all already. Un Cut open the box. So this is more like a reveal. And um, I got some accessories for my last um, Brahmin handbag purchase. I don't know if y'all remember what bag I bought. So, okay. This is the Brahmin Ruby Satchel in Sea Glass Melbourne. Okay? Yeah, Sea Glass Melbourne. Ruby... I have officially declared it because the next question was, Mrs. Q, what is your favorite Brahmin handbag? The Ruby Satchel is my favorite handbag. And I'm going to tell you why. Medium-sized satchel. Nice pleats in the front. So it's sort of sophisticated lady. When I want to get my... Mm, 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 sophisticated lady on this is this is my favorite satchel because it's medium size and it holds a lot i can easily access everything that i need okay so that is why the ruby miss ruby here is my favorite satchel so one of the one things i have to have when carrying a handbag because that was the next mrs q ask mrs q question that's me. Um, what do you necessarily have to have for your handbag? 
actually to match your handbag. I have to have a wallet, okay? And um, although I've said it before, somebody asked me again, what is my favorite Brahmin wallet? My favorite Brahmin, I have two. I have to admit, I have two. I, um, my number one favorite wallet is the Suri wallet. My second favorite is Miss Addy here. This is the Addy wallet, okay? Now, one of the reasons why I like shopping at the Navy Exchange because 99% of the time, their stuff, when you receive it in the mail, comes in Brahmin packaging. See what I'm saying? You see me unwrapped it out of the plastic and everything? Hey, that's what I love about the Navy Exchange. Uh-oh. What the price tag? Oh, there it is. Huh. Some reason it's stuck in here. <laughs> there it is. Ha-ha. <laughs> So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I like shopping at the Navy Exchange, AFES, MyExchange.com. Shout out to the military. Cool. Okay. So, I have to have a wallet to go with my bag. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to match exactly, but it has to coordinate. Okay. One of the things I like to do is um, dress up my bag. And, um, that's where this comes in. Right here. Tassels. Sometimes I like to dress up my bag with hang, with charms, um, keychains, key fobs, whatever you want to call them. If Brahma makes something that matches it or coordinates with it, that's what I normally get. But for this, I wanted something to match it because, to me, she looks a little naked with the charm, just the charm. And normally, I'm gonna put it right here. So, that's how it would look if you have one on each side. But normally, I like a little, um, right there. Sachet, Shantae, give her a little sachet. Shantae, okay? Better work. Yep, that's what I have to have, okay? Now, do I coordinate anything else with my bag? Sometimes I do. Um, I don't know if I've uploaded this video yet or not, but, um, bam! <laughs> These are my new K-Swiss, um, Clean Court Comfort in Fair Aqua and White. The top part is aqua, the bottom part is white, okay? That's where she gets her name from, Okay? That's what she looks like. I like K-Swiss because they support your arch and they have memory foam. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. So, bam. That's what we working with. That's what we working with. As you can see, not matchy-matchy, but it coordinates. Okay? Sometimes I have a watch. Gotta have my watch on, y'all, but today, you know, we, we rocking with this. Okay. All right? Now... That is it for um, this particular segment. And, um, oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I got one more. I had one more Ask Mrs. Q question. Somebody asked me, ask Mrs. Q. I've had this question asked many times, and I'm sorry that I'm just not answering it, but somebody else asked it again, and that reminded me to answer the question. Mrs. Q, what is the difference between the Brahmin eyeglass case and the Brahmin sunglasses case. I'm glad you asked. Okay, so get this out the way. All right, shoot, I might pair this with this. Looking in them little creases up in there. Just the little creases in there. See that? That's that color. See what I mean? Coordinate. Do you think it coordinate? Yeah? No? Nah? Drop me a comment in the comment section. Hey. You know, whatever your opinion is, is your opinion. Y'all don't know how I am. I like to be honest. Some people just can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth? This here ain't what you want. <laughs> okay. So, let's get on with it, shall we? All right. So, the difference between the Brahmin eyeglass case and sunglasses case. 
This is the Brahmin eyeglass case and sunglass case in glass, glossy glass. Okay, can y'all see that color? Okay, now, right off the bat, you can look at it and tell the difference is the size. Okay, so, see that? Okay, put it to the side. Hold your head back. Uh, now lean it to the side. Uh. Hey, fellas, yeah, ain't she fine? All right, so, size. One of the difference, just telling right off, um, is the look. This one has the little button on it. This is the eyeglass case. Has the little Brahmin button on it, okay? This does not. They both have snap closure, gold interior, okay? But as you can tell, this one is bigger, okay? The other thing is the price. I believe the eyeglass case runs for $55, whereas the sunglass case runs for $65, okay? Hey, more leather to make this one, <laughs> okay? Now, some of you, somebody asked the question, well, couldn't I just put my sunglasses in the eyeglass case? Yes, you can if they fit. So let's take a look, shall we? Now. Some of y'all who rock with me on my channel know that I also like sunglasses. I've mentioned it before. Um, I mainly wear Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, basically anything that color-wise that is whatever mood I'm feeling that I feel is going to go with whatever I'm wearing in my mood. That's what I wear. That's what I rock with. But those are my favorite brands with Coach being number one. Okay. Now these are my aviator Michael Kors um, glasses. I can't remember the name. Hey, I've been having them for a year or two. Rock it. All right. So aviator glasses. Sometimes that's what I'm feeling the mood for. I'm feeling sexy, sleek, chic. Sometimes I have to rock cool with it. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry, y'all. I was listening to the radio earlier and they was playing all 80s music. Okay. <laughs> all right. So as you can see, these shades are not the same size. So... Will these fit in here? By all means, they sure will. With room to spare. However, will these fit in here? Nope. They will not. Some of y'all will show me people. So let me show you. As you can see, you got to squeeze them in there. But they don't close. Okay? See, they're squeezed in there. But they won't, it won't close. It won't, it won't close. Okay? So, yeah. And I'm sorry. If you're like me and you pay a lot of money for your shades, these are coach, by the way. If you pay a nice penny for your shades, don't be squeezing it in something that it won't fit in. No, 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 no. That is not what we do. Now, if you want to squeeze a cheap pair up in there, you go right ahead. But I'm sorry. I like to take care of my Brahmin items as well as my sunglasses because I love them. I need them to protect my eyes from the sun. Okay? So, yeah. That's the difference. Okay? So, the main right off the bat, you can tell if it's an eyeglass case or not. Just looking at it, that little dot right there. Okay? Now, I've emailed some people on eBay and let them know that, hey, you know, did you know those are not the Brahmin sunglass case? You know, some of them, they they be like, okay. And it's understandable because they don't, the tags aren't attached. You see what I'm saying? They don't have the tags at all. However, some of them have the tag. Which show it big as day. And it say eyeglasses instead of sunglasses like this one. And they're still listed as sunglasses. So, this is for you, the consumer. If you see it and it says eyeglass case. And you want the sunglass case? This here ain't what you want. You're going to buy it. You're going to be mad. Then you're going to be opening up a case. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right? So that is the difference 